Well, as Kelly pointed out, many of the campaign ads took on a negative tone. We saw them on television, radio, of course, social media. And a lot of people online tonight. KCRA 3's Brian Heap tracking some of those trends in the KCRA 3 buzzroom. So, Brian, what kind of impact did some of those ads have on voters? Yeah, that's what we're going to take a look at here in just a second, Kelly. It, it's uh, some interesting things that viewers have told us on Facebook. But first, I want to tell you something a little more fun. Remember when the uh, I Voted stickers, it used to be enough to just put it on your shirt or stick it on your lapel. Not so anymore with this younger generation. Sarah's going to come up here and show us uh, what what the kids are doing now with their I Voted stickers. Yes, yeah, so I've noticed that a very popular thing to be doing right now is taking the I Voted selfie. So everybody's putting their stickers in all sorts of places, on their dogs, um, on their clothing faces, all over to show their support. And it, it really it makes sense, too, because it's a good way of being able to spread that word to not just the people who see you, but the people who follow you. Exactly. And it's also really nice because it means that the younger generation is also very excited to be participating in the elections and getting other people out there. All right. Very good. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate it. She's going to find us some more good stuff throughout the night. Now I want to show you back to the question you asked before. We asked people on Facebook, were you swayed by any of the political candidates, the propositions, based on the ads you saw on TV? And we got some pretty negative response here from viewers for the most part. They uh, were not too happy with a lot of the commercials, thought they were too negative. You see this one from Linda Pollock Martin. She said she wasn't swayed by, the, by those. She thought they were too negative, but she said some of the proposition ads made her pause and actually go back and do the research. And that's, uh, that's a good thing to hear because that uh, is certainly part of the point here for everybody, to be an informed voter when you head out to the polls today. We're live in the KCRA 3 buzz room. Brian Heap, back to you. Great to hear that people are doing their own research. Mm -hmm. The election teams will say the ads are not designed to necessarily inform but to sway votes. So yeah, that's the point. Go in, do your research, make a good decision. And just get out and vote. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing. All right.